Unit 1 A reading the town mouse and the country mouse. Look at these pictures. What differences do you observe when both pictures are compared? Where do you prefer to live? Countryside or town side? Justify your answer with reasons. What is your favorite place? Town or a village and why? Observe the images carefully and answer the following questions. Suppose you live in a town and visit a village for the first time or you live in a village and visit a town for the first time. How do you feel? You will have a very different experience, right? Even in the present section, the town mouse and the country mouse, we will see how a town mouse felt when it visited a village and how a country mouse felt when it visited a town for the first time. Let us begin with the lesson, the town mouse and the country mouse. The town mouse and the country mouse were cousins. They often wrote to each other. One day, the country mouse got this letter from his cousin. Here is the letter. Kitchen cupboard, mouse town, 11th March 2012. Dear cousin, I have been ill with cough and my doctor feels I need a holiday. He has advised me to spend a week in the countryside. May I stay with you? Please give me an early reply. With warm regards, yours affectionately, town mouse. To country mouse, the mouse hole, mouse country. Receiving the invitation from the country mouse, the town mouse packed his bags and caught the next train to the countryside. The day was bright and sunny and soon the town mouse began to feel hot in the train. However, there was nothing he could do about it. So, he grumbled to himself while the train shoved slowly into the country. I wish there was an air-conditioned coach, he said to himself. I feel very uncomfortable here. The country mouse was waiting at the station. Oh cousin, the town mouse said as soon as he got off the train. The train was dreadful. I feel terribly hot and thirsty. I hope you have something ice cold for me to drink at home. Well, I have some water, said the country mouse. But I can look around for some coconut water if you like. Coconut water? Asked the town mouse in horror. Don't you have any orange juice or lemonade? I am afraid not, replied his cousin. But I found a very nice piece of root today and a tender bit of sugar cane. I am sure you will enjoy that. Root? Sugar cane? The town mouse exclaimed. But I don't eat raw food like that. The country mouse said, This is what we eat in the country. So, I am afraid you too have to eat this. Try it, it's not bad. The town mouse did not enjoy his dinner at all. He nibbled at the root and sugar cane and then said he wanted to sleep. The country mouse showed a corner in the mouse hole and said, There you are, you can sleep there. On the ground? asked the town mouse. Do I have to sleep on the ground? Yes, this is how we sleep in the country, his cousin answered. As the town mouse lay down on the hard, cold ground, he suddenly thought of something. Cousin, he called out. Yes, what is it? The country mouse asked. Why is it so quiet here? Where are all the cars and lorries? Where are the radios and the televisions? Where are all the lights? This is how it is in the country. His cousin replied. It's always quiet in the country. Sometimes it is quieter than today. My grandfather says that our village is the quietest among all the villages in our district. Oh, is it? The country is a strange place, said the town mouse. But he said to himself, I don't think I like this place. Next morning, the town mouse found that there was no breakfast ready. 
His cousin told him that they had to go to the nearby farm in search of food. We are sure to find something there, he said. A nice piece of root or a tender bit of sugar cane. But the town mouse had enough. Thank you, cousin, he said. But I think I will catch the next train home. I have suddenly remembered that I have forgotten something. A few days later, the country mouse wrote to his cousin, the town mouse. Here is the letter. Mouse hole, mouse country, 22nd March 2012. My dear cousin, I hope you are well. I am worried about you. I would like to visit you and make sure you are all right. With love, your cousin, country mouse. To town mouse, kitchen cupboard, mouse town. The town mouse received the letter and read it. Since he was in a hurry, he sent a telegram to the country mouse. Here is his telegram. Overjoyed, come soon town mouse. A few days later, the country mouse arrived in the town. He was surprised by the noise and the lights. Why are there lights even in the middle of the night? He asked. This is the town, his cousin replied. Here there are lights even in the middle of the day. And what is this dreadful noise that never stops? Asked the country mouse. That is traffic, the town mouse replied. That is the noise made by buses, lorries, cars and aeroplanes. But the country mouse did not like it at all. All this noise has made my head ache, he said. Could I have some water to drink? Why only water, said the town mouse. Look at what there is for you. Ice cold lemonade, orange juice, which one do you want? Just some water, answered the country mouse. Some water and a little bit of food. I have plenty of food, cousin, said the town mouse proudly. You can eat as much as you like. Sure enough, the house of the town mouse at the back of the kitchen cupboard was full of most delicious food. There was bread and jam, different kinds of fruits, slabs of chocolate and a huge piece of lovely cheese. Eat, cousin, eat, said the town mouse. But just then there was a sound like a thunder and the town mouse shouted, Run, cousin, run, run. The town mouse pushed the country mouse out through a hole in the back of the cupboard. The country mouse felt his heart beating very fast. But what is it, he asked. Shh, whispered the town mouse, wait. When everything was silent again, the town mouse crept out of the hole. He was quite cheerful again. Come out now, cousin, he said. That was only somebody opening the cupboard door. We are safe now. But they were not safe for very long. Twice more, they had to run for safety when somebody opened the cupboard door. The country mouse got quite tired of running and hiding. I want to go back to the country, he said. We may not get much food there, but at least we can eat in peace. So, the next day, the country mouse went back to his house in the country and the town mouse stayed on in his cupboard in the town. And as far as I know, they did not visit each other again.